Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I will introduce you to a new software tailored for writers called Strat. Strat presents itself as a complete writing workspace, a single place where you can capture notes, organize projects and even collaborate with your team supported by an interesting AI implementation. Imagine being able to glide between focus writing, document collaboration and project management all in one place. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's start with the interface. As you can see, it presents a clean and minimalistic design, an excellent feature when considering the importance of a distraction-free environment while writing. On the left, there is a standard search bar for you to search your documents. And right after, you'll find the inbox section to quickly capture ideas for new projects as they come to mind. You just need to click on new doc, write a title, and jot down any thoughts that strike you. And about quick capture, the team plans to add desktop shortcuts soon. This implementation will allow us to jot down ideas and notes into Strat without opening the application. Lastly, you can change the way you see your documents choosing between list view and grid view. Then we have the workspaces section. The workspace is the place where you organize your projects. Let's create one together. Click on add a workspace, give it a name, for example, articles, and choose a starter template. Don't worry about which one you pick. You can customize the workspace into stages that match your writing process later. Now let's go back to the inbox section. And as you might have already noticed, the document appears as a card. When you are ready to transform an idea into a real project, you just need to drag and drop the document in the corresponding workspace. Now let's take a look to the features we have inside a workspace. Similar to the inbox section, there is an option to switch between list and grid views. Additionally, since you have different stages representing the phases of your projects, the workspace provides a Kanban view option. This enables you to visually manage project processes by simply dragging and dropping documents across stages. Then, as I already mentioned before, the stages can be customized to correspond with your individual writing process. You can add the new stages, change the icon, the color, the name, and arrange them in an order that suits your workflow. Now, in order to collaborate with your team members and collaborators, you can share the workspace by clicking the share button at the top. Here you can insert their emails or simply share the workspace link. Lastly, let's talk about AI. Strass AI is like having a collaborator available 24-7 that helps you during your writing sessions. You can access to Strass AI by pressing Command plus K. As you can see, it comes with predefined commands, brainstorm ideas, generate outline, create a draft, and repurpose content. Let's give brainstorm ideas a try. And let's write something simple and generic like PKM folders versus tags. You can also choose to use document as inspiration, but this is not the case. After clicking on brainstorm, Strat automatically opens the right panel where the AI chat is located. As you can see, the AI gives you some ideas. From here, you can create a new document, give it a title, for example, folders versus tags. And now, as you can see right here, you can start chatting with the AI about your new document. Once you have your ideas in place, for example, you can create a draft. So command plus K, create a draft, and choose which type of content you plan to work on. As you can see, you can choose between different types of content, but for this example, I select blog post. Now you need to provide additional information to AI. For the audience, I can insert something like students, freelancers, and businesses. As goal, I can write something like explaining the difference between using folders and tags in a PKM system. 
and I can set the tone as informative. Click on create and the AI will write the draft. Once the drafting process is completed, select Add to a Doc, and the draft will be appended to the bottom of the document. With the draft now in hand, you can meticulously review it, select the portions that appeal to your needs, refine them, and write your final version. While doing so, you may desire a completely distraction-free environment, and I must admit that struts shine in this. Of course, you can hide the left and the right panels, but the best features in this case are the deep focus modes. By clicking this button on the top right, you have access to two different zoom levels. A first click activates the zoom mode, while a second click activates the deep focus mode, that highlight only the text where the cursor is located, allowing for intense targeted focus. The last AI feature I want to highlight is the Struts brand voice. This functionality allows you to generate a brand voice either from a website or from scratch, which then can be assigned to a specific workspace. So whenever you compose within that workspace, Strat will use your brand voice. To create a new brand voice, click on the brand button at the bottom left, new brand voice, and give it a name. For example, article voice. Now open it and here you can generate it from a website or you can create one with specific attributes. For this example, let's use my website. As you can see, Strat automatically generates the brand voice, but you can also customize it further. Once you've finished, open the desired workspace, click on the brand voice button at the top, and choose the one you want to use in this workspace. And that's a wrap! While still in beta, Strat appears to be a promising tool for writers, and if you want to give it a try, you can find the link to the Strat website in the description down below. Remember, you can follow me on X and Mastodon and you can also join my Discord server and subscribe to my website for further content about productivity, PKM and note taking. I will leave all the links in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.